Hi friends. So if you know me, you know I love traveling and I love chocolate and this pop-up had both things. Uh, this was in Venice on Valentine's Day and this was in love in Utah. So Visit Utah actually partnered with Solstice Chocolates, which is um, based out of Salt Lake City. And they did a collaboration to celebrate the mighty five national parks of Utah. Utah's national parks are so beautiful and I'm so lucky that I've been to about three of them. Uh, so these are the different chocolates. Uh, they are to celebrate Arches, Bryce Canyon, Canyon Lions, Capitol Reef, and Zion National Park. They all have different flavors and I thought I would give them a quick try and let you guys know what they taste like. Um, so this box is so cute. It says Utah makes you feel things. Joy, pride, connection, energy, and contentment that settles deep into your bones or in a single word, love. So Visit Utah partnered with Salt Lake City based chocolate maker Solstice Chocolate. And they're saying, I did not know this, Utah is the craft capital chocolate capital of America. Craft chocolate capital of America. I cannot wait to go back and try some more chocolates. I had no idea. And so this is going to be um, the Bryce Canyon one to start off with. It actually tells you what type of chocolate is on the back, which is so cool. It's 70% Camino Verde cho dark chocolate. I never knew there were so many different types of dark chocolate too, and it's just so amazing to try them all. Um, this one has nutty brown sugar and cinnamon tasting notes. And so um, here it is. Mm, love it. The cinnamon and nutty brown sugar is such a good combination. And this is really rich dark chocolate too, which is so delicious. Um, and the Mighty Five chocolate was really cool because I like how they made it an even number with six chocolates. And this one is the only one that has white chocolate. So this is a vanilla bean chocolate, vanilla and custard. Um, and it's really delicious. Mm, love a good white chocolate. Um, Solstice chocolate did such a good job with this. And I'm just in awe of it. I love it so much. So the next one's going to be Capital Reef. This one is unfortunately my least favorite one because the tasting notes are wine, lemon, and tart cherries and honeysuckle. Um, so it's very tart. It has 70% Colombero chocolate. And it's really tart for me, but it's still delicious. And the next one is Zion National Park. I love this park so much. I always loved going there. I'm staying in Springdale when I go to Zion. So um, this has 70% Tranquilidad dark chocolate. Its tasting notes are honey, cream, and molasses, which are all very yummy. Let's try it. One of my favorite dark chocolates. I'm such a fan now of Solstice chocolate. And I can't wait to try more chocolates when I go to Utah next. Mm. Arches chocolate. I mean, Arches National Park chocolate. This chocolate dedicated to Arches National Park is going to be 70% Bun de Bugio dark chocolate. Such a funny name. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But it has earthy fudge and dark cherry um, flavors. So... It's so delicious. It's a very fudgy, very dark chocolate rich and super yummy. The last one I'm going to try is going to be the Canyon Lands National Park um, Chocolates. 54% Ghana dark milk chocolate. It has tasty notes of coconut, marshmallow, and graham cracker. Mm -hmm. This is definitely my favorite one. So good. And it's not as rich as the others because it's only 54% dark milk chocolate. Anyways, I absolutely loved all of these. Um, this is such a cool pop-up. I loved how Visit Utah partnered with Solstice and they had this pop-up on Valentine's Day in California, in Venice. So this was just so amazing. And I'm so lucky I was able to try this. Thank you guys so much. In love in Utah. Can't wait to go back to the national parks.